Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another eyeshadow palette related video. If you don't know, I love eyeshadow. I love all things pink and with it being the season of love, I thought it would be fun to sit down and share my top 14 Valentine's Day palette picks. So let's go ahead and jump in. My sweater is Sailor Moon related. I only have one other pink sweater and I've already worn it in two videos recently. So I thought I'd switch it up, do a little light pink sweater. Like I said, I have 14 different palettes to talk about today. They are from all sorts of different price points and brands. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy my picks. The first palette I'm gonna talk about should come at no surprise to anybody, but that is the Natasha Denona Love Palette. When I think of Valentine's Day, I think of this color story. This palette just has all those beautiful pinks and purples. I really love this palette. I feel like you can create really beautiful, lovey season looks with this palette. It is gorgeous. I especially love Giving and Pure Love, these two shimmers right in the middle. Of course, the mattes are all really lovely. And you do have a variety of textures in here. You have some of the cream to powder formula, some mattes, some shimmers all sorts of good stuff in this palette. I feel like it's very well-rounded, very versatile, and I also really like the red in here. I'm a sucker for adding a little bit of red into pink looks, and I think this palette just is the perfect fail-safe for Valentine's Day. The next palette I pulled out comes from ColourPop, and this is the Pretty Please palette. I bought this on a whim. I can't remember if I purchased this at Ulta or if I purchased this from ColourPop site. It is on the newer side, and this might not initially look like a Valentine's Day palette, but it is lots of muted roses, pinks. You got some purple tones in there. And I just feel like this creates the most beautiful, soft, romantic look ever. This has been in my everyday makeup drawer probably for the past month, and I really enjoy it. I haven't featured it on the channel yet. I haven't done any videos or anything, but I've really enjoyed this one. And I feel like this gives you just that really soft, natural makeup that people might want for Valentine's Day. Just that very nice, romantic, ethereal glow to your eyelids. It really just does that for me. And I really like this palette. It does look pretty boring and my preferences are usually pretty colorful, but I do really like this palette. Up next is the palette I am wearing today and that is the Nomad Verona Love and Death palette. I really, really enjoy this palette. I feel like the more I use it, the more I want to use it. And I have done probably a dozen looks with this palette since I've received it. Today I went into the pastel pink, the red, of course the pink and red shimmers, and even this dark burgundy shade at the bottom. I just really like the depth you can get with this palette. I am very fair, so a lot of shades tend to pull very pigmented on me anyway, but I do like that you have a black and you have a lot of different tones in here. Honestly, this palette is one of my absolute favorites from Nomad. I just feel like the color story is so me. If you're new around here or didn't know, my favorite color is pink. It is my favorite color of all time and I love wearing pink eyeshadow. So this palette just of course makes my pink loving heart so, so happy. I do actually have a discount code with Nomad. It is code Jessie. I will put it up on the screen right here. It'll save you 10% off your entire order. It is not affiliated. It is just for you to save some money. I will also be linking all corresponding videos to any of these palettes in the description below. So if you want to check out a specific palette, I will link all of my reviews and tutorials with those palettes in the description box. Up next is a palette that I really see for more of like a natural or maybe a work appropriate Valentine's Day look. And that is my Sigma New Mod palette. This one is beautiful. It has those beautiful berries and natural tones. So while it is not explicitly pink, it does have kind of that pink rosy hue to it. Sigma shimmers are absolutely phenomenal. So I like the idea of doing like maybe a neutral or just a slightly berry crease and then popping in with like this raspberry or plum shimmer just to give it that nice sparkle. You can really play it up or down with this palette. And I do feel like this would be a very good option if you are more of a neutral lover or maybe you don't like bright, crazy colors. I feel like you'd really enjoy this palette for a Valentine's Day romantic look. The next palette I pulled out is my Lunar Beauty Moonspell Volume 2 palette. I actually don't think this is available anymore, but as I was going through my palettes and pulling out my favorite pink and purple palettes, you know I have a ton. 
This was one that caught my eye. I have pulled this palette out in my personal everyday makeup drawer and I have really enjoyed getting a lot of use out of it. I've actually enjoyed combining this with my Nomad Verona palette, especially the shade Luna. And I also really like using Agatha as an inner corner highlight. I just really like the bright, vibrant mattes you get in here. You have Willow, which is this really true bright red, Gillian, which is this nice orchid color, Hilda, you have Alex, all these beautiful, bright, true tones, and I really appreciate that. Of course, you have your black matte. You know I love a good black matte. I just feel like this is a very well-rounded palette, and I feel like if you have this palette in your collection, you would be able to create a plethora of beautiful Valentine's Day looks. This next palette I feel like is more of the vibe of Valentine's Day and the feeling of love, and that is the Pat McGrath Bridgerton Diamond of the First Water Palette. I have been re-watching Bridgerton, and it has just inspired me to pull out this palette, and it really got me thinking about how romantic and soft these looks can be. You have two really beautiful rosy baked shades as well as three really natural shades and of course the astral blitz shade in the corner. I love a good astral blitz shade. I just love the looks I create with this palette and I actually think this might be the palette I'm going to pull out for my own personal Valentine's Day. I have been using it a lot of course leading up to Valentine's but it is a great option nonetheless. I don't know if this one is still available either but if it is I highly recommend if you do like the Pat McGrath formula. I just think this palette creates the most beautiful looks. Another obvious choice Colourpop Flirty Talk. This was their Valentine's Day palette from this past year. I did pick it up because like I said I do really like those pink and red tones and they are shades that I wear pretty regularly. I really enjoy this palette. If there was one thing I would change about it, I wish there were a little bit more of glittery shimmery shades. These shimmers in here are very soft and natural which there's always a time and a place for. The glittery shades are my personal preference, but I do like how this palette is laid out. You have a nice soft row, a slightly more pinky row, a red row, and then a deeper red row. So I feel like you have all of your Valentine's Day choices in there. And of course this packaging just screams Valentine's Day to me with the hearts and just all the cute little details. It is just so cute and screams Valentine's. Another palette I'm sure many people will have in their collection, the Urban Decay Naked Cherry. This has been a longtime favorite in my collection. I did purchase this when it launched and I do really enjoy it. As you can see, I've gotten lots of love out of this palette over the years. I just love the berry tones and berry tones, Valentine's Day. This is another approach to maybe a softer Valentine's Day look. If you don't want those hot pinks, hot reds, a nice berry is a great substitute and a lot more wearable than a hot pink or bright red. So if you are more of a natural person, this is definitely a great approach to a Valentine's Day look. You know I've been using this one a ton. I just love this palette so much and I don't think I will ever not love this palette. This next palette may be for all my anti-Valentine's Day friends or maybe the grungy lovers. We have the Melt Gemini 2 palette. This palette is just nice and deep and grungy. You have a nice variety from lighter pink all the way down to kind of a olive green. You have some really deep berries in here and I could really see this being a great statement look if you wanted to do more of like an anti-Valentine's Day or anti-love theme. Not that we want to be anti-love over here, but I do really like the idea of maybe like a dark romantic look. I of course am a huge romance book lover myself and I feel like this could give you that like dark romance vibe. Really fun. Another favorite in my collection. My favorite look to do that I've done recently has been just an all matte look using this lightest one on the lid and then using a gradient of some of the darker red shades. If pink's not your vibe, don't worry, I have you covered if you like reds. The Cherry Crush palette by ColourPop. This offers nine beautiful red shades, any type of red you might want. There is a lot you can do with a palette like this. It is not too monochromatic, but monochromatic enough that you can have a true red look. And honestly, I feel like not enough people talk about this palette. I personally love this one, but I hardly ever see anybody else talk about it. So I knew I had to pull it out and talk about it today. We are down to three left. This next one is a hefty price point, but if you have it or are willing to spend the money, the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette is definitely up there for favorite Valentine's Day palettes. 
I love how luxurious the Pat McGrath palettes feel. They are so heavy duty, so luxurious feeling. And of all my Pat McGraths, this is the first one I ever purchased because of the pink tones. And I just love the looks you get with this. I feel like this is another palette. You can do a really soft romantic look focusing on this quad over here, but you can also brighten it up with this hot pink. You have this really cool duo multi-chrome shade. Let me see if I can get it to shift it kind of shifts pink to green you also have some of those really bright shimmers there is a lot you can play up you could do a really dramatic night out look with this palette and if i actually had valentine's day plans i definitely think that this would be a great one to pull out this next palette is a long-standing favorite in my collection and that is the jeffree star pink religion palette i do know jeffree star is not everybody's cup of tea but i happen to love the formula of his palettes and i have spent good money on them so i don't plan on decluttering them but this is all beautiful pinks and purples. I'm obsessed with this palette. This is my dream palette from Jeffree Star. You have corally pinks, baby pinks, bubblegum pinks, more purpley pinks, a reddish deep pink at the bottom. My only qualm with this is I do wish there was more of a little bit of a shimmer shade, but of course I feel like you can substitute any shimmers in any of the other palettes I'm talking about for a beautiful hot pink shimmery lid. Overall, this is a great pink option. I personally love this palette and I love how pigmented and beautiful these are. They're so insanely pigmented. They last all day, all night. They're just so easy to blend. They show up so amazing on the eyes. I just cannot say enough good things about this palette. And last but not least, can I really talk about pink and red and Valentine's Day palettes without talking about the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette? Again, I know that he's not everybody's cup of tea, but when I tell you this is one of my favorite red and pink palettes, mine is the Anniversary Edition Blood Sugar palette, so it is the white color, and I do prefer that to the red. It does get a little bit messier, but I do like that you can really see the colors pop. And when you look at this palette, it's actually very wearable. You have a very significant amount of neutrals. I would say the majority of this palette is neutral and you can create very good everyday looks, but I like that you have enough of a variety with some of those red and purple tones that you can kind of play with a pop of color or maybe do a neutral look and use maybe a deep red to deepen out the outer corner or do a red shimmer on the lid. I feel like this gives you a ton of variety. Sorry, you're seeing my entire filming room. This gives you so much variety I feel like this is just one of my favorite palettes in my collection and definitely one I tend to reach for at this time of year. That is all for today's video, friends. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe before you leave and let me know what palettes you're pulling out for this love season. I would love to know what everyone's pulling out. You know I'm a pink and purple lover. It's been said a thousand times today. So definitely let me know which pink and purple palettes are your favorites or which you're just pulling out in general for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, friends.